Welcome to Sikorsky's Think Abouts, and I'm your host, Laura Sikorsky. My goal is for our guests and I to share our expertise and think abouts that will help you provide outstanding customer service and experiences to your customers using people, processes, and technology. Today, our guest is Corinne Carroll, and excited to have her back. I think this is your fourth time on the show. I think so. Yeah, so it's really cool. But uh, Corinne has uh, become a very good friend, and she is founder and president of Blue Chip Marketing and The Daily Blue. And our topic for today is the power of networking, and I thought, who better <laughs> than I'll call you Miss Long Island, because I, really? think, I think she knows just about everybody on Long Island. I don't know matter what networking group I go to and if you see me you grab me and say I need you to meet this person so it really the power of networking is a lot about who you know but it's also about how to do it so it results in the best um, you know Car Corinne as as founder and president of blue chip this is an outstanding marketing company they were very progressive early on in how to use social media to benefit their clients so if you haven't uh, seen anything about blue chip or blue chip networking I urge you to take a look at their website bluechipnetworking.com blue chip marketing but you're into networking I'm into today. Networking, so. And we do have a really significant group with uh, probably about 7,000 members on Facebook that is for free. And you can market networking wise on Facebook with, uh, and also there's one on LinkedIn. Right. It's pretty significant. So Blue Chip Networking on Facebook is, is fine, but that could be a new company name. There we go. <laughs> started. <laughs> but thank you for all your compliments. Uh, and it's great to be here. My pleasure. My pleasure. But. To recap, networking is marketing. I don't care what people say, and it's all about relationships, rapport, trust, uh, leveraging your contacts, and of course, expanding your business. But networking is what you're supposed to create friends. And I really think the, the word relationships really keys in on uh, you know what it is all about and there are so many networking groups on Long Island uh, you can go to Adrian's network which is on teleconferencing it is lunch and learns it is going for dinners and and what have you you have American Business Associates with Ellen Volpe who is uh, had several counts separate councils across Long Island and it's representative from each network so uh, from each industry so there are so many opportunities and if I don't mention everybody I'm just going to mention those two but there are again so many ways to network I have golden rules okay, okay. and I, I would say before out before I say mine what do you think the golden rules should be of networking uh, you know what what I find with networking is that you go with people and you I call it an anchor so you go with an anchor and that anchor never lets you kind of go and network. So whether it's a, a husband or a spouse or, or a relationship or mm -hmm. just colleagues, you can't really decide to just stay in your networking, you're networking with each other, you know, right. really, and, and he, 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 it's just a night out then, right. let's, let's plan something purpose. else, let's <laughs> go network. I'd go out to have a nice dinner, then yeah. go sit and networking and meet new people. Yeah, so don't let that person, my golden rule would be don't let whoever you're with anchor you. Right, never stay with the people you came with, that's really important, because again, you, you don't go out and meet new people, that's right. the goal of networking, right. to spread the word about you and what you do. Right. Um, and of course, you could debrief later when you go home if you want to talk to your, you know, sure. significant other afterwards. Say, oh, guess what I who I met and sure. so forth. But my husband and I do that when we go to a function. If we go to a wedding, we very rarely stay uh, for dancing. We do, but for <laughs> but <good>. uh, we <laughs> love spend some time with him, Laura. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but the thing is, is that so we get to see people that we haven't, and then we say, okay, now you go and talk to so and so because this is what's happening in their life. That's wonderful. And, uh, I so think you network at social events uh, too. I network. <laughs> everywhere <laughs> you do I know <laughs> I, I see that we a network where uh, yeah and I think in my industry going to an industry conference Okay. Because they have the movers and shakers, the top technology companies, the top companies that really want to learn from the industry are also 
at the conferences, um, Chamber of Commerce. We recently went to the Long Island Business News, and they were, had a speaker concerning the Affordable Health Care Act. So, uh, right. you know, those kinds of venues really are educational. They are. But also, if you know your audience or know who you are going to network to, mm -hmm. then and if you know your business and your industry, then you really need to, I think, kind of adhere to that. If you don't have an industry that is going to purchase technology equipment or at Long Island Business News, if nothing is going to help you, then it's really just a waste of time or just educating yourself. Right. For our business in Blue Chip, it really, we are, can appeal to every industry. There isn't anybody that couldn't use us. Right, right. So we could go to everything. Right, but right. But really, it's a waste of time if you're going to decide to go to something that, that, that doesn't really mm -hmm. either educate you or your staff or you're not going to get new business out of it. Why just go because everyone else is going? Right, right. And but there's a lot of um, benefit though in going to a chamber of commerce. Very true. Uh, Lions. The Lions is very philanthropic with the blind. Yeah. You know, so that's also a great way to meet people because again, they're within your local community. Sure, doing something for the community or for charity, I don't think could ever be bad. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, and then uh, you know, we just said charity and philanthropic, and uh, certainly professional organizations. Um, you know, there's the Society of of uh, human resource professionals that's here right. on Long Island. And there are other, well, I think ListNet is a technology sure. type of association. We and have, those are good. We have huge associations here on Long Island with the HIA and the LIA that you can get involved right. in. These big organizations that have many members. And uh, I, the HIA runs a fantastic um, expo. Mm -hmm. I guess sometime in the spring, I think yeah, it is. Yeah, I think it's and May 22nd. I'm supposed to be speaking at that. Oh, good. Yeah. That would be fabulous. I'm hoping that, that would we be get fabulous. Approved. It is an excellent time to get mm -hmm. your business card out there, and it has so many different uh, booths and people that you can, exactly. you don't necessarily have to have a booth or be looking for a job, but you can go and network. Go and network, and it's amazing how many, uh, I, I find it astounding at how many people are at that particular oh, show. It's, it's almost like, like a don't And you see it. people that you haven't seen in years, and yeah. it's like, where have you gone? I haven't yeah. seen you. I'll see you once know? a year here. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but other things about networking, and I think people forget these, uh, they forget to join a committee. Hmm. I have found that when you join uh, of a philanthropic group, if you join a committee, you get to meet all those board members and so forth. And then suddenly, you know, the more you go to a networking meeting, yeah. the more you are recognized. Yeah. And it's going to take six times before people feel comfortable sure. with you. Sure. I find that at those board meetings, I have so many ideas and I want to tell everybody and help everybody and I'm getting stuff done. And I think that sometimes that can be somewhat overwhelming or intimidating. So I think when you first join a, a committee or a board, mm -hmm. uh, really learn who everybody is, learn what their roles are. Um, and learn how to really approach people gingerly rather right. than just kind of yeah, go it's for like, it. Yeah, it is exciting it, and you want to get involved. I know, but you know, sometimes you just have to sit back and listen. Right. And listen, and, and you get to know what people are about because then you see what their strengths sure. are and so forth. And you don't want to be the new kid on the block and going, oh God, she's going to open her mouth again. And then they start going like, you know, Very true. Day. But even in a huge setting with when networking, I think that that's a very good um, that's a very good suggestion to listen to anybody because mm -hmm. if you're going on and on about yourself, they just, I think it's, the, you know, that's why speed networking, I think, is so good. Yeah, it is a great Quick, thing. Just it tell is. me about yourself in two seconds and make sure that you're listening enough and responding enough. I know what I find is when I'm meeting somebody for the first time, I like to look and have eye contact. It annoys the heck out of me when somebody's eyes suddenly are going because they're looking to see who else is in the room. <laughs> And I, you know, I get all eyes on me. <laughs> it's like, I'm talking to you right now, right here. Right. <laughs> Give me your two minutes, it's three true. minutes, whatever it is. That's you true. You don't want to stay with a person for 10 minutes. You know, you, the, the yeah. goal of networking, everybody should have that same mindset, is we're here for a five minute meet up, Quickie, okay? Right. You know, we're not here to go long term and talk, talk about the kids and talk about the weather. We're here because we have a common goal. We want to meet new people, make new business. But here's a question, Laura. So no. what, <laughs> what happens when you have that guy that's just so, he came there just to see you. You were promoted that you're going to be at this event and maybe you're a speaker and he's there to see you. And he does take up, you know, 
20, 25 minutes, and he really, he wants to be getting information from you, and you can't escape that. You know what, what do I, you do? What I've done yes. is I tell me. And I'll, and I'll do my eye thing, you know, like I'm not <laughs> supposed to do. But I find somebody that I think this person should be. Okay. And then I'll walk them over. Oh, and I'll you say, do a drop off. I do. <laughs> I do a drop off. Oh, okay, folks. So if you see me doing a drop off, <laughs> you are that person. <laughs> that person. Okay. But it, but you know the that's you a good ha- idea. But you you know the networking event is generally an hour, two hours at right. most. So you have to be revolving, be moving and shaking, so to Absolutely. speak. Absolutely. Okay. Um, another way, obviously, to network is to be a speaker. That's what, get, that's what gets you your credibility as Agreed. well. You yeah. know? And the best thing to do is to always, if you're a speaker, at the end, offer something. So you can offer uh, something like, uh, for my free newsletter. Mm-hmm. Give drop off and bring me your card. Sure. So you see a lot of times when you're going to network and there's a lot of people that don't even stop and speak to the speaker, but then there's tons of them going up because they got something for free for giving That's them true. a business card. That's true. Um, write articles. I just recently started a blog. I had never written a blog. I love blogging. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun <laughs> It now. is fun. I but love it But it is too. a great way to network. It is. And a lot of people think that networking is only meetings. So this is mm-hmm. what you also, I think, need to be consider. And then also get quoted. People on the move. We have Newsday here, you know, and... Write a press release. Or Long Island Business News. Let's Long not forget Island, that. No, of course. <laughs> yeah. I, and it's not, it's, not, it's not as hard as people think, yeah. especially if you are a speaker or a volunteer or involved in, in something great. It's yeah. really not as hard as people think to I get know. noticed. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling to me that people don't take advantage of that. That's but true. this is your... This is your this special. This is my favorite. This is yours. Now we're talking my stuff, Laura. I know. And our so. lovely staff here. This is their stuff, too. They're good at it, and that, I think, does help you to network and and uh, showcase your stuff. It's, the social platforms, I think, are just a way to have your own PR. Mm-hmm. So if you're not a good writer or you're not able to get into the news, you can use the social media as your platform. Mm-hmm. I find that with LinkedIn, I think the, the best thing, that one of the best things that they've done is recently added the video ability. Right. So when I leave here and the, and the video hits the network, I upload my video onto LinkedIn. Right. And people are just I'm meeting I'm getting people say oh that was really good I didn't know about that so you're a superstar no no <laughs> you're no. a superstar but I think people don't understand the value of LinkedIn because you yeah. can you can send information not only to your connections you can send it to the public the, right it's and, amazing and you know there it's are amazing. millions of people now whether or not you just happen to pop up when they're you know scanning LinkedIn but people do need to do that and I think Twitter, you are unbelievable on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter's become a favorite of mine. I think that it, that it has changed. I mean, Facebook was something that we used before anyone else was around here that right. I saw. I uh, was using Facebook, and uh, believe it or not, a lot of people gave me slack about it. You know, it's to meet people, or it's it's for, for social reasons right. and uh, friendships, or even people told me, if you're on Facebook, you're dating. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not no. looking to date. <laughs> right. And this is, it was a way for us to grow something with no resources, no um, money into a business that just was an idea. And I think that the social platforms, if you're looking to expose yourself to a community, you can target that very easily with just time. There, you mm-hmm. really don't need to spend money. And of course, you can think of it as time is money. But if you're investing 10 or 15 minutes each day in your social platforms, then... You're yeah. not paying for advertising. Yeah. You're not paying for staff to do that. I think it's a great way to and get I th- And I find that one of the great things about Twitter is you can publish an- someone else's information right. and say, you know, this is spot on or this is on sure. target or I love this, this is excellent. And it gives, again, you credibility. And they say, and like people will say, oh, I wonder what Laura thinks about that. Or, right. you know, like having uh, the blog we talked about and we certainly have talked about WebTB. But paper.li mm. is a great idea, folks, if you haven't used it. It's Agree. free. I agree. It's free. Yeah. And you can... I love it. It has a spider that goes out there, and you say to it, I want you to, anything that Corinne does or, you know, so-and-so does and so-and-so does, if they put out a, an, an article, mm-hmm. I want you to grab that from my newspaper. Right. And then some newspapers keep all of the hundreds of articles. 
I call it down to two or three. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, this is what I think about this article. So, folks, if you haven't done that yet, it's a great way to network. And the nice thing about paper.li uh, is that it automatically generates to your social network. So it blasts it out yeah. there once a day. Right. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about anything. Right. You just, exactly. You don't do anything. You right. know, except it's in nice. my case, I look at, you know, I read and post right. subsequent. But right. it does. It just. It's a great thing. Great tool. Tops it out. Tools. 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 Okay. Preparing for attending an event. Something I'm very bad at, by the way. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh I'm bad. my goodness. Because I think that my personality is just very good not worrying about it. I want to just walk in a room and be ready to go. I want to know some info about mm -hmm. the event and yeah, some info of who's there. I, I know that I would like to have some faces in the room just knowing who I am. And right. I do have somewhat of a plan on my head, especially what I'm wearing, of course. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> but I like to be a little... Right, like not too prepared. Not too prepared. Yeah. And, you know, it depends on where you go, too. I mean, if you're going True. to an industry conference um, where there's thousands and thousands of people, you don't want to be this lone person in, in this Right. vacuum. Right. You not know? have your business cards, not look right. professional, not right. That's right. very true. So you want to, you know, this, these are some heads up ideas. You know, get to know who the organizers are, who, particularly the executive director. They should be your buddy, hmm. you know, and email them because they're always on the, on the roster and say, you know, what would you suggest for or who would you think is somebody I should meet? And you'll be as astounded at how much help an executive director wow. can be for That's your great. Advice, something I yeah. never did. That's great advice. And, uh, you know, review the uh, brochure, pick your sessions. Uh, a lot of times, you know, many times you'd go and go, oh, there's so many things to do, and then you wind up eating, just having coffee all day. But that's not a cool thing. And then, first of all, and email the speakers. Yeah. They'd like to know that somebody is really looking forward right. to what they're going to say. Uh, what do you wear? That you have to be very careful, very, very careful. I personally uh, prefer a morning function as opposed to an evening function. I find evening functions, there's a little bit too, I mean, I lo enjoy a glass of wine, but there's a little bit too much drinking for me, and I just don't. At networking functions? Yeah, I don't know, and I'm not a prude. I love no, it, you know. No, I know you're not. Uh, but, but it just, I think, you know, networking is, is when you're, 100% yeah. spot on. Well, perhaps people are using it as a tool to go out. Again, yeah, it have could a good be. Time. It I don't know. I have be. all these kids, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm not networking a lot at night. But I do think that they they can be beneficial. Yeah. Uh, I've been to a few that are very good. In fact, on Wednesday evening, I'm speaking at one for at industry night at the Arden. Uh, oh, great! And that that should be wonderful. Again, when you're asked to speak, then uh, you know you can tell everybody about it on social platforms, but also the people hosting it want to tell everybody that you're coming. So you're and getting a lot of coverage on, you yeah. know, hey, come and see Corinne so it's, at this particular event. Yeah, which also, again, gives some, some credibility to what you're speaking about, but also helps you right away to network. And then people will say, I've been meaning to catch up with you, and I knew you were going to be here, like right. locked down. Right. <laughs> you're here, and, and you're, you're not moving. I got our accountant that way. She she said that, uh, actually, it was the last time I was at the Art, and probably a year ago, she said, I knew you were going to be here, and I wanted to meet you. And Same. that's how we got her, and I, she was persistent. She's a persistent woman. Yeah, really good. But um, yeah, the, wh what you wear, I think, is yeah, extremely important. Yeah, I mean, you know, wear outfits with pockets, ladies. You know, right. so you don't have your purse, and you know, so you just come in. You have money in one pocket, business, business cards, cards in, in the other, other. <laughs> and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, and limit the amount of jewelry. Mm. I've, I find this even when I'm going on a new interview for a client. The minimal amount of jewelry a woman wears. The better off you are. Why do you feel that way? Uh, because people tend to look at your jewelry and not look and concentrate right. at, at, at you. That's you a know, very good point so. because I have taken notice of your jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk about women, it later. Very limited. <laughs> um, but what you wear shows your power That's and true. your confidence. That's uh, true. And I personally wear as high a heel as I can humanly do. Really? Because I just like to be taller. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, that gives you that confidence. Very type true. Of thing. And stand out. One thing that you said before the show was we recently went to an event where everybody in the room was wearing black, but the very few people that weren't really stood out. Yeah. I just said, I want to meet that person. Yeah, yeah. And women should wear dresses. It's right. not a bad thing. It's not. You know? It's true. Uh, and don't expect anything when you go to networking. Don't dismiss anyone as irrelevant. Mm -hmm. And you do not need to know most people, just the right people when you're networking. Stay on the grid. 
And this is something I learned from Adrian Miller. Um, you always, always build the business relationship afterwards. So if you see an article, send it to somebody that you met right. and say you might find this interesting. That's wonderful. Um, uh, and very and, easy to do. And it's so easy. And she has the, th the very important eyes. Always meet for invitations, introductions to other people, mm -hmm. and information thought you would be interested in this. So of course our think abouts, you know, the purpose of the show, etc. Rescue wallflowers. If you see somebody by themselves, yeah. Go up to them and say, hi, I see that, you know, you may be new to the group, I'm so-and-so. That's a great you. idea. Um, totally try not to use your phone. You're never that important that you have to constantly, I mean, we had uh, Holland true. House on and recently, and, and uh, you know, to consciously connect, disconnect first, and then reconnect with people. Great advice. She Practice your elevator speech, that's that 15 seconds, you know, that you have to make a, uh, a, good, qu a good impression, and then ask questions during an event, and follow up, of course, with a thank you to anyone. That's that wonderful. Asking questions during an event, Oh, that's scary. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> scary. But it really it, it really is important. I mean, how many times are you sitting in an audience and the speakers are saying something and you have a million questions and n nobody really gets the guts to say it. Right. But as soon as you do, I I've done that several times and people have come up to me afterwards and said, on that point, I didn't want to say anything, but on that point, right. it was really important that you brought that out or you said that. All of a sudden, you, have, you, have, you weren't even a speaker, but you have a lineup right. of people looking to pick your brain about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. subject and I find I try to ask I try to do one question if I can and but again it, 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 people know then know who you are because you get a chance to say your name very true and then you ask a question and like you said then they come up afterwards and they say hey you know true what you do I have a little secret on that so sometimes I've been in in different events that I know that somebody that I network with would really like and I will write to that person while I'm there text or something and say I have I have this happening right now, a healthcare seminar, and do you have a question that maybe could help you in your business because this is what they're saying. Right, and right. Just send a quick video. This is really interesting. So sometimes I think that you can help network and bring somebody in because of what mm -hmm. technology we have now and really help your client. In this case, it was a client mm -hmm. that I thought would really be, be could, could, could be helpful benefit, and could yeah. benefit both ways, yeah. And so, folks, I can't believe it. We're, it. we're almost. We are just about done. Um, I can't. I can't tell you. I was. I was wanted to get a Twitter question today, but I. I think everybody doesn't was just listening. They weren't tweeting to us to ask a question. So with that, I just want to say thank you so always. much. It was great. Thank you. Always. Now to remind everybody uh, to reach Corinne and her team. Uh, it's Blue Chip Marketing Twitter at Corinne Caro, and their office number is six three one. 761-9223. And of course, we have a great staff in here, our camera crew, Mike, and Desiree, our producer, who always make us look great. So thank you guys for that. Thank you guys. And to reach me, Twitter at Laura Sikorsky. We're always looking for guests and uh, would appreciate any comments that you have about the show. Uh, next week, a fellow uh, host is going to be on. Really? I'm going to have Tracy Tripa. Oh, I love it. And Great. And Tracy does a show on the web, on the network. Show uh, it is called Your Health Matters, and we're going to talk about how the patient experience has changed mm. for the consumer today with all the Affordable Care Act and insurance wow. issues. And I think because she is a registered nurse and uh, is currently Very going for woman. her you know, master's at it, I think it's going to be a great show. And so. I love to see show host network. <laughs> I know. Is that's that great? great. I that's love it. great. Now, did you ever know Tracy before? No. Same, never that's knew. That's the power of networking. Never knew. And I, I watch her shows and I was like, she would be a great guest. She's a very so, smart woman. She is. Very, very smart. Well, she right. is. And so with that, folks, I want to thank you so much for clicking in and have a perfect rest of the day.